In a monolith application, it's very easy to track exceptions because you as a developer knows where your application has been deployed. You have to go to the same server, you have to open up the server logs and you can see the exception which has been triggered for your application and you can fix it out. But when it comes to the microservices, the same application has been splitted into multiple different parts and all these smaller parts is called as services and has been deployed into different different servers. So when a request comes, it goes through and passes through different servers where your application has been deployed and it's very difficult to track if an exception occurs because you as a developer doesn't know where the request is failing and which application is triggering the exception. Let's say I have 10 different applications and it has been deployed to 10 different servers. So I can go to every service that I have. I can open up the server logs in every servers and I can check which server is having the exception. Don't you think it's going to be very tricky and challenging to do it? What about if you have 100 different application which has been deployed to 100 different servers? Now, in that case, that will be challenging. So to fix it, we have to go for distributed logging or centralized logging. So when there is an incoming request, we will attach a tracking or a tracing ID to every request. And whenever the request will pass us through different servers, the request will have the same tracking or the tracing ID in every server logs. Now we can pull all your server logs to a centralized place and you can check the server logs for a specific tracking or the tracing ID. So that's going to be really easy for the developer to go to a centralized place and check out all the logs pulled in from different servers and you can check the specific tracking or the tracing ID to understand why the request is failing and where the exception is occurring. So that's how you can find out the culprit app and the culprit exception.